All right, so before we do some paint mixing with what we've got over here, over here, our, our new uh, paint mixing thing, the color scheme we're doing here is a, all right, think of, it's called, it's 1966. Think of Letterman's jacket where the colors are like brown and cream. So you've got the Letterman's jacket is brown and you got those cream colored sleeves. 1966. Something cool like that. Alright, so what we're going to do is the color we want is parchment. So I've got some folk art parchment here. You can find this at, I don't know, Walmart, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, probably Hobby Lobby, places like that. And this one is the one that's like 50 cents more than the cheap ones. And this is a good, pretty decent paint. It's not quite as fine as this golden stuff, which you get at Michael's and Joann's. I don't know if you get it at Hobby Lobby or not, but um, it's good. It's really good. And what we're going to do is we've got a Jeep, an Atherin Blue Box GP9, and we've got an AHM GP18. Okay, they've both been primered. Um, Ace Hardware White Primer, which is kind of fuzzy when you get it on there. And I use a microfiber cloth and I wipe down the shell to uh, make it not quite as fuzzy. And we're painting by, we're doing paintbrush. We're painting shell by paintbrush. Yes, it is possible. Not only that, it's possible to be a great paint job. All right, this is, this is the GP18. It's got, a, I think it's got one coat. It's got like a coat and a half on it. It's going to be great. And remember, then, then after you do this, you got to do it. And you got to gloss it so you can do decals, and then you got to gloss it again, and you got to matte finish it. So what we're, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you. So I got my wet palette here, okay, and I've got a glob of that paint right there on the wet palette, and the wet palette's got four layers of paper towels, a piece of baking parchment, and mine's got a copper wire in here. Which helps it uh, last longer. This one's, this one I've been using for like eight weeks. It's still good to go. All right, so then I've got a chisel, white tackle on brush. You get these. I like to get them at Michael's because they come in a big old pack for ten bucks. You get a whole bunch of them. And now I'm using a new, the new cups. Okay, I use these down in Dallas at the at the National Train Convention. We have distilled water with dish soap. That's our DS. We've got distilled water, and we've got 91% alcohol. And the reason I switch from those cups I usually use is I got covers. And the reason I really need covers is because I was going through alcohol. As I've got the dehumidifier running, that alcohol evaporates out of the cup really fast. All right, so let's get into it. Let's let's go ahead. I got an unpainted side here, I think. Yep, I got an unpainted side. And we're painting parchment on this. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to take got our brush. Let's go ahead and do some distilled water. Wipe them on our, we got two pieces of paper towel here folded over all right, brush right. Let's do some dish soap to make sure the bristles are nice and flowing. All right. And then I go in here. So when you see me reaching in here, what I'm doing is I'm taking some paint from the glob and I'm pulling it back onto the parchment in a place right there. All right, so now I, got, I don't have any globs or nothing in my paintbrush. Okay, and then I'm going to paint it on. And so this is going to be parchment and then we're gonna mask it and we're gonna do a brown color and I think that brown color is gonna be boxcar red because that's a great pump and we're gonna mix that so I can see right here this has got one coat on it let's put it let's put a second coat right there so with this stuff this being craft paint it's the pigment is not as fine so what you have to do is you just got to get in there and you got to work it. And you'll see the brush strokes. And as you clean your brush a little bit, 
they will disappear as you smooth it. Smooth it, keep smoothing it. And really, it's not going to matter that much because in the end, it's going to get clear coated, which is going to erase a lot of a lot of brush strokes, not all of them. So we want to we want to do this in a, in a pretty good way. So I got some more parchment on here, and we're going to paint. So now the the uh, running board, no, the side sill is going to be is going to be boxcar red which is going to stand in for our brown color. So think of a letterman's jacket where it's boxcar red with this parchment cream color sleeves. Yep, I get it on there and we just work it. And sometimes we wipe our brush off. We work it until it's nice and smooth like that. That is nice and smooth. All right. Now I've taken the dynamic brakes off, and we'll, we're just going to paint under here like that. Even though this part is going to be brown later, this is the parchment will also work as a primer. So now let's uh, get some on here. Okay. So now I'm going to show you something. All right. When you get decent at doing this, oh, well, let's pull that off for brush. Okay. When you get so when you get a little experience doing this, you can take some paint, not a lot, and see these grills and stuff, and all the things, it's almost like we're dry brushing. We don't want side to side strokes on here, but we want those details to be filled in. So we're just gonna keep doing it until it gets totally dry, like that. This is gonna dry really fast. So when we get in here, we've got to keep working it so we don't have terrible brush strokes. So we go fast and, and we use some pressure on this brush. Ultimately, as we mop around like this, we want to start going either bottom to top or top down because if anything shows through, if there's ever a leftover brush stroke, it should go the way water goes. Top to bottom, like as if this thing had been through the rain. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually pretty decent. The other side's looking pretty good. Well, let's put a second coat on here. Actually, let's let's let them set up, and we will come back and and do another coat. <laughs> 